Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will see the concept about the topic using symbols to link numbers. Okay, so what this topic contains, uh, actually, if we use the uh, symbols in uh, mathematics, uh, it makes our work easier and shorter. Uh, let me give you an example. Here, if we have 5 plus 7, okay, it is in a mathematical form, okay, here symbols are included in this. Uh, but here, if we don't use the symbol, so 5 plus 7 will be just like that, 5 plus 7. Okay, here, you have another example, 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 okay so here it is in a mathematical form here symbols are using in this okay and if we don't use symbols so this expression this equation will be just like that 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 okay so you can see that this is a, a expanded form okay and this is a compressed form a more uh, easy we can say which, uh, <clears throat> which is easier to solve okay and here if we have if we want to write 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 we have to write uh, this long statement okay if we don't want to use symbols 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 okay so symbols play an important role <clears throat> in mathematics uh, it makes uh, our expressions easier more comfortable for us to understand okay so uh, it was an easy concept and uh, we will discuss some questions related about uh, this topic so let me uh, write the boat So here we have questions. Uh, here uh, the we can say that uh, in English we have written here 14 plus 12 is equal to 26. Okay, here we have part it, and uh, we have to use mathematical symbols to link the numbers <clears throat> and. Uh, we have to write it in mathematical form instead of uh, this English okay so let's write 14 plus 12 is equal to 26 so 14 plus 12 is equal to 26 all right so, so you can see here that it is so easy to understand this thing instead of this large thing okay it's too short okay so that's <clears throat> that was symbol do okay it symbols make the statements more easier okay six over five is equal to 1.2 six over five is equal to 1.2 okay next 1.05 is less than 1.5 okay so let me write it 1.05 is less than 1.5 okay this is the symbol of less than okay so 1.5 is less than Sorry, 1.05 is less than 1.5. Now, part D. 1.22 is not equal to 1.23. Let me write. 1.22 is not equal, okay? It is a symbol of not equal, okay? Not equal to... 1.23 okay 
Now, next part, 1.22 is approximately equals to 1.23. Okay, so let's write this one. 1.22 is approximately, okay? This is the symbol of approximate, okay? Approximately equals to 1.23. Okay, now next part. Therefore, the number a equals to the cube root of 12. Okay, so here uh, we have to write different symbols. Uh, first of all, we will write the symbol of therefore. Okay, let me write the symbol. Okay, these three dots. Okay, in this shape. Okay. In this triangular shape okay this is the symbol of therefore okay it's the symbol of therefore okay and now we will uh, read the next statement the number a okay here we have a number a okay equals the cube root of 12 okay so we will write the cube root okay cube root of here in this in the base okay cube root of 12 okay understand now next one difference between 67 and negative of 3 is greater than 67 okay so we have to write the difference first of all I'm writing the minus sign here because of the difference difference between 60 sorry 67 Okay, wait a minute. 67 and minus 3. Okay, this negative sign is for, for the difference and this is for the negative of 3. Okay, is greater than 67. Okay, understand? Now, uh, next part is. 5 is less than or equal to 7 okay let me write 5 is okay here we have to write the symbol less than or equal okay less than or equal okay less than sign uh, i am writing here less than sign is this one okay equal to sign is this one okay and if we combine these signs these two signs so our final sign is a mixture of these two signs which is just like that okay less than or equal to and if you want to write greater than or equal to so it will be equal to just like that okay all right so here less than or equal to so we will use this sign okay here okay five is less than or equal to seven all right and now last part is the product of 5 and 1.2 sorry 12.1 is approximately equals to 60 let me write here the product of 5 and 12.1 is approximately equals to 60 okay comfortable i hope you can understand it uh, now we will see uh, some true false uh, for this concept okay now we here we have some true false so we have to tell that uh, whether these are correct or not okay whether these are true or not so 12 uh, 12 minus 5 is not equal to 5 minus 12 okay so here if we solve both of the sides so 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 and if we solve the right side of it so it will be equal to minus 7 okay so 7 is not equal to minus 7 so which is true okay which is true 7 here its answer is 7 and its answer is negative of 7 and here is a sign of not equal to so 7 
is not equal to negative of 7 which is true okay so here we will write true okay now square root of 12 is approximately equals to 4 okay so if we solve the square root of 12 uh, on paper or actually it is tough to calculate it on paper if we if we calculate the square root of 12 on calculator it will give us answer 3.46 something okay okay so 3.46 is approximately equals to 4 okay because here it is 3 is approximately equals to 4 okay so we can write it as true okay and uh, now part c is negative of 12 is greater than negative of 5 okay consider if there are not negative signs okay if there are not any negative sign is if there is not any negative sign then it is correct okay in actual 12 is greater than 5 okay in actual it is true but here you can see we have don't we don't have these numbers we have numbers with the negative signs so negative signs inverse the case okay in this case uh, the smaller number will be the greater and the greater number will be the smaller okay so negative of 5 is actually greater uh, as compared to the negative of 12 so we will write it as false okay now uh, part uh, D part D is 14.1 is greater and is greater or equal to 14 whole 1 over 10 uh, if we solve 14 whole 1 over 10 okay so what will be our answer let's solve it it is a mixed fraction first of all we have to make it an improper fraction so it will be equal to 141 over 10 now if we divide 141 by 10 it will be equal to 14.1 so you can see from here that 14.1 is and after solving this one these both are same uh, okay so greater sign or equal to okay actually 14.1 is equal to 14.1 so it's correct we will write here true so that what we have uh, true false and now we will discuss uh, some more uh, symbols okay some more symbols uh, let me write it first here I have written some new symbols okay uh, let's see what are the symbols written here uh, this one is the first symbol here it is the symbol of a square root is a symbol of a square root next one is a symbol of brackets okay this <coughs> brackets <coughs> this one is the symbol of indices indices means power okay this one is the base let me write it this one is the base okay and this one is the power so we will write power here and base here next one ln okay ln it's the symbol of natural log uh, if you don't study it uh, till now, uh, you will study this one in uh, some mm -hmm. videos or we can say uh, in the next level you may study it. Natural log. Next one is also symbol of root. Here we have, uh, we have square root but here you can select the root of your choice like cube root fourth root 
uh, fifth root, etc. It's usual. This one, this one is the symbol of factorial. Okay. Uh, you will learn factorial in the uh, next levels. Okay. So you just have to remember this one is a symbol of factorial. This one, you know this. This one is a symbol of percentage. This one is a symbol of percentage. So here we have done uh, this topic <clears throat> using of symbols to link numbers. So that's it. Access the entire Mathematics Demystified course at learneasy.us.